Okay, Sally, so um, a little quick refresher on importing your spreadsheets. So you get saved a spreadsheet, say, and um, let's, I'm just going to use this for example. I'm going to do this, this as an example. I'm going to change the name. This is just the one that I was using to, to do a, a for that last little video. I didn't change the one that you sent me um, or even open. I don't even have Excel on this machine. Here's a good, here's a, Here's why that I like to work in sheets, then I don't have to import, export, but here's how you do it. Okay, so I've got a, a spreadsheet that I've been shared from Sky. Okay, all you do is you go to File, Download as uh, Excel Spreadsheet. Um, I'm going to save this file because I don't even Excel on this machine. And for me, I'm on a Mac, so it automatically saves to download. Okay, now, okay, so now it's on my local computer. And See, when you're uploading and downloading and doing things like that, it's, it's much easier just to work in Google Sheets on your computer, and then you don't have to download it or upload it, and you, you can work in real time on the same one as guys working on. Much easier. But if you have to do it this way, um, you can do File um, in Sheets or in Drive. Okay? Um, you've got to go into Google Drive. Because you're in... Right now you're in Google Sheets, and there's and you can do that by clicking on the Sheets home right here and going to Google Drive. There's a bunch of different ways you can get to Google Drive. Um, another way that you can do it is over here next to your login. You can click on the Google Apps button right here and go to Google Drive. Okay, um, in Google Drive, you would, if you wanted to upload it, you would go to New, and then File Upload, and in my case, I'm going to, notice I have a bunch of documents of, of my own, but this one's going to be in Downloads, so there, there's the example that I just did for you. In my case, it's on my local machine. Again, I highly recommend you don't do the download and upload just because it, it leads to another layer of confusion. You, then you have to be aware of the dates, which one you're working on. You have to constantly update it. If it is at all possible, I'd recommend that you work in Google Sheets. Okay, and then you would open that up. And notice here, let me resize that window. And it'll say one upload complete. Now you'll notice that you'll quickly get littered, which up with different versions of, you know, even these things that, you know, I've already got three open from just uh, a couple minutes of video that I'm doing an example of. Um, okay, hopefully that will help. And that's how you download and upload. And then you double click to open it from there. If you need